What's going on guys? Welcome back to Complete Tech Crew. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few new offerings from Milwaukee, their Air Tip series. Um, it indicates that it's a trade focused vacuum accessory series and um, also that it's compatible with other uh, wet dry vac brands. So here's a list of the sizes, size compatibility, excuse me. So it fits uh, one inch and a quarter, one inch and a seven eighths and two and a half inch diameter uh, hoses. Um, for the for the accessory series, excuse me for that. So what I have for an example is the M12 uh, Fuel, the brushless uh, shop vac or wet dry vac, and I'll also test out the um, pack out vac as well, just for uh, entertainment purposes. So basically, we'll start with this first um, air tip accessory. This one is entitled the Three in One Crevice and Brush Tool. So this one is sporting a part number of four nine nine zero dash two zero two three. All right, so that's that one. The reason why I picked this one up is um, just because it was re it's reversible. It says it's three in one, so we're gonna find out exactly what that means. And uh, I wanna work on cleaning um, the vents. So where my main vent uh, return is, it's, uh, it's not detachable. You have to totally detach the entire assembly from the inside out. And that means disconnect the actual trunk line. So I do not wanna do that and I do not wanna get into all of that work. So that's why I grabbed this one and this one because I know that it's gonna take care of the issue that I'm having as far in terms of cleaning, excuse me. So uh, this particular one, this is called the two-in-one utility brush tool. This one's Spartan apart number of 49902028. Then uh, lastly, we have the air tip uh, cross brush tool. This one's Spartan apart number of 4990-2035. as So there we go. So I'm gonna put it back over here because it doesn't stand up on its own. So let's get into breaking some of these open. First, let's start with the larger one. And this would be the uh, the three-in-one crevice and brush tool. So I'm gonna be using, utilizing uh, these for household purposes while on the job site and for automotive. I just uh, was blessed and fortunate enough to get another truck. So I wanna keep it as clean as I possibly can. I did get black in color. I'm really excited about this truck. I like this truck, it's a great truck. But in my area and for whatever reason, uh, uh, people, and pollen are attracted to the color black. And when I say people, they just uh, like, oh, they just wanna open their door all willy nilly. It's springtime and the wind is blowing crazy right now, almost uh, every other day. So people park right next to you, even when I park in the parking lot far away in the middle of nowhere, somebody wants to pull up and give you this much space between your car and their car and then they try to shimmy on out. I can't tell you how many times I've actually witnessed it. And I say something and I'm trying to be, um, good natured and trying to be positive and optimistic, but how positive can you be when you just spend $70,000 on a truck and they come in in there and just uh, being careless and uh, reckless, I would even say, because I sometimes feel like it's intentional. Some of the scratch and dings that are on there already have only had it three weeks, maybe four weeks. So to me, it's kind of unacceptable. It's uh, unfair. And if you were one of those persons, just reconsider that, reevaluate your life kind of sorta, for lack of better words. And I'm sorry, guys, for this tangent. And if you guys are going through this or have gone through it, uh, leave it down in the comments because I think it's uh, I think it's absurd. And uh, it's kind of asinine, if you ask me, in my opinion, and just to go out of your way to make someone's day worse or their situation worse. Just because it's brand new, shiny black paint, go go get a ceramic coat or go get yours re, you know, repainted or whatever it is. Go get it taken care of and then you'll, be, you'll sit in the same uh, boat I am. It just doesn't make sense to deface someone else's possession just because you're careless or uh you're envious for lack of better words jealous whatever word you want to use for it so I, I i truly do feel that way some of the marks and the dings that are on there and how close people are parking and just people leaning on it at random times it just doesn't make sense and it's uh to me going out of your way to do something like that is futile and it's absolutely uh it's uh it's nonsense so sorry for that tangent i'm not gonna edit that out i'm gonna keep that in there and i didn't mean to go on that long Three minute tangent, so excuse me for that. So back to the to the lecture, or to what we're here for. The air tip accessories. So I'm excited about these when they uh when they first uh informed us about them. You know, it was just some you know something else that Milwaukee's come out with, you know, with their great innovation. It's, you know, something that we may all end up um utilizing and loving. So the plastic, it doesn't feel like pack out plastic, it's kind of coarse feeling, has a coarse feel to it. Definitely doesn't feel like pack out plastic, but it's a very, very durable feeling plastic. Not the same plastic that this vac is built with, but I, I would say maybe a grade less, one or two grades less than that. And uh, I guess you 
to uh, rotate this, you pinch these two points down here. They're kind of uh, on the opposite ends of each other. So one here and then one here, you pinch that down, I guess to retract. This needs to go that way, excuse me. Nope, that was the right way. We were making mistakes. So uh, to retract it and detach it. So there we go. And then I guess you flip it. Okay. All right, I think I got the hang of it now. So it's pretty cool. I hope this works for the application and I'm trying to utilize it in. This brush on this side is a lot softer, just like a hairbrush. And this brush on this side is a lot stiffer. Very similar to a hairbrush as well. So you have uh, the options for both. So there we go. And you see that there. It's very long, so you can get inside your crevices. This will come in handy very, very, very much in uh, the application for automotive, in my opinion. You know, taking care of a lot of those situations, especially in a larger vehicle or larger uh, automobile where the uh, seats are elongated or you have a long back like in a truck or an SUV, you're going to uh, definitely want to utilize something like this. And being that it's compatible with the different sizes, to me, that is a great thing. So let's get on into the next one and then we'll open the third one and then we'll compare them all and see how well they stack up and uh, how, you know, how they integrate with the actual hole size. Okay, so the same thing, this has a little button here that you uh, push on to extend it forward and I guess you push it to retract it back. So yeah, this one's good because it kind of has that wider profile and this one I will be using to try to scrape away a lot of the debris and stuff that's on the uh, register uh, for my return air inside inside my home because that thing is really large and uh, I'm starting to see a lot of the buildup on there and like I said, I cannot take that grate off. I will have to dip, disassemble the whole thing and uh, that's that's not gonna fare too well. It's gonna be like two, three hours worth of work just to clean it. So I'm thinking that this will be my solution and that's why I got it. But I like the coarse brushes on here. So again, this will be good for uh, a lot of the rug and the carpeting inside of your uh, automobile. Particularly if you have a larger automobile, this will definitely come in handy. So again, you can press that button and it'll extend it and retract it. Then you have your, uh, your different sizes here for your different hoses and your compatibility. So a nice looking piece there. And let's go ahead and dig on into this one. See what this one's all about. All right, and then we have this one. So they say like the point of this one is, is when you're vacuuming, it's not flicking the debris around. So like if uh, it'll actually keep it contained and pick up larger uh, debris, dirt and uh, pieces, whatever you want to call it. So that's the point of this one. It keeps it from going like that or getting crushed and smothered in there, work or work in any worse. So this will actually like aid you in working it out and getting it up into the vacuum as opposed to flicking it away. So we'll see how well this one works when we test it out. We're not gonna actually test it on any dirt and debris today. To me, it's really self-explanatory and straightforward. But what I will do in the future is when I'm on a job site or in a project, when I need to utilize it, I'll bring it out and I'll create a short for you guys. Well, that one will stand up. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and open up the M12 uh, fuel vat. And I know you're like, why is this stuff in here? I just opened this yesterday because this is one of the ones I found at the local Home Depot uh, for $129. And that was the uh, off promotion. So they are liquidating them. Uh, I posted a, I am going to post a video about that. If I haven't already, you'll see that coming real shortly because they are still out there. So for the guys who have been asking me and struggling to find it, they are still out there. And that's just the mounting piece for their vat. So we'll just give it a shot and I'll push it on in there. And like as advertised, it fits and it fits well. That's a snug fit. I even pushed it down and got it on, on there more. So I hope I'm in frame for you guys and you guys can see that really well. So you'll just have that kind of action. It's really really good looking really good feel to it and it's on there snug like these are solid i'm impressed with the build quality on these definitely impressed with the build quality on these i thought it was going to be a much cheaper plastic but again good job on this one milwaukee i um, love to test them out and see how well these brushes and these parts here because i'm sure this is where our fail point is going to be on each of the tips but we will find out let's go for this one and see how well it fits just the same fits very well of course you can adjust it here rotate it and then you have your ability to move uh, that up and down by just uh, compressing that button there, as mentioned earlier. 
So yeah, good feel to it. Good looking. Let's go on to this one. Again, guys, the same thing. That's good. And I like this, that you can uh, flip and rotate this. I just got to figure out how to get this right. I'm going to be struggling with that for a little bit until I uh, get used to this. But yeah, great feeling tool. I'm going to use this a lot like in my new truck or in the old truck or van and just go inside in between the door and the uh, uh, the middle, the central pillar and uh, go to work on that. So that's, that's always the struggle area where nothing's long enough. So I am uh, very happy that they released this. I'm elated and I can't wait to use it and uh, film that for you guys when I'm cleaning out uh, the uh, the new truck and the van because that van's needing some attention uh too that van is new i just haven't given it that much attention i actually haven't uh detailed it since i got it so i've been working so hard on getting uh the pack out uh stuff in there the shelves the plates and stuff mounted in there so um give me one second let's get the the pack out back and let's just see if there's a difference i think the hoses are the same on that one so i don't think it'll be much a di much difference but let me just verify Real quick, I think these hole sizes are exactly the same. Again, here we have the M18 fuel pack out vac. So let's stab that in there. Yep, exactly the same. Very snug fit, very durable. And I'm looking at these seams or the seam on this. I believe it's one right there as well. And I'm 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 uh pushing against it with a lot of force and resistance, and I'm not seeing a split at all. So so far, so good. That's fused really well. So good job on that one, Milwaukee. Let's uh don't run away. Let's try this one. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Fits really well. Again, the hose sizes are the same, I believe. Fits really well and snug on there. And let's just give this one a shot. Yep, same thing. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on most, if not all, of their accessories. These are the ones that I was able to find locally at Home Depot. They had no harm, which means that doesn't always mean a good thing. Like, they're actually going to be on clearance and stuff. And I actually had a, a really difficult time getting pricing and them locating it in the system. So I was about to give up on it and then they figured it out and then I was able to uh, purchase them. So um, a lot of times, guys, again, no home does work out in our favor, particularly if it is a, a seasonal item. But sometimes when it's a brand new item like this, they have nowhere to stage it or place it. And a lot of times they'll just stack it up anywhere. And that's exactly where I found this. And they were having trouble identifying exactly what it was, where it was, um, the skew and things of that nature. So. We were able to go online and get it all figured out. Sorry for all the rambling and that tangent earlier about the truck and all that. Um, that's just something that was on my mind and just happened to come off right at that time. Please forgive me for that if that offended you. But uh, the facts are the facts. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody for being patient with me. Thank you so much to, for who all that uh, have subscribed and staying consistent with the comments and showing all that love. I appreciate it. Appreciate that. And it means a ton to me. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, following, watching um sharing liking all of that good stuff thank you so much on instagram as well as uh, youtube uh, complete tech crew spelt with a k spelled the same exact way on both platforms thank you so much be blessed peace peace